Hello everyone, welcome to Della's Food Crave Kitchen. If this is your first time here, I absolutely welcome you. Feel free to look around if you find any of my videos interesting. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget the notification bell. This will keep you fully updated in any new video that I uploaded. To all my old and returning subscribers, I thank you so much for your constant love and support. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a simple liver stew recipe and goes along with paratha bread. If you want to see how this recipe is made, keep on watching. Without any further ado, let's get to she will show you everything you need to know A woman that will cook everything for you With a smile on her face every day Dada's food drive kitchen Alright my dada's team, first off we're gonna start with um, a paratha bread recipe Like I said, paratha bread is an Indian bread You don't need no, um, no need for you to um, knead this bread it's a liquid form it's easy if you have flour in your house you can make this paratha bread in no time so i have two cups of all-purpose flour i'm gonna sift it and then next i am going to add some garlic powder which is optional if you want to make your paratha bread um, just plain you don't need to add any spice in it so i added one teaspoon of garlic powder i'm gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of onion powder as well so guys i added um, red um, crushed pepper flakes which i was supposed to add later on in the video you will see i will add it again because i'm going to be straining the mixture um, again so i added one teaspoon of red pepper flakes which is also optional and one teaspoon of salt so you're going to mix the ingredients until everything is well combined. So mind you, I have two cups of all-purpose flour. I am going to start off with one cup of water. Then this is the second cup of water. So in total, I added two and a half cups of water. You want to mix the mixture until it's like really light not too light but in between just almost like you're making a pancake um, um, texture of a rest, uh, recipe so you're gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour and two and a half cups of water like I said again it's optional if you want to add any spice into making the bread if not just make it as plain as you want it and like I said again I was supposed to add the red pepper flakes afterwards you're gonna see throughout the video actually guys i made a mistake i added two and a half cups of water with two tablespoons of water because it was a little thick so i went ahead and add another extra two tablespoons of water so that gave me the perfect consistency i was looking for so after the mixture i went ahead and strain it because i want the bread to be as smooth as possible as you can see this is what I was explaining. I was supposed to add the red pepper flakes later on, but it's never too late. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. All right, which I was supposed to add now, not with the flour dry, dry mixture. So mix it until it's well combined. As you can see here, I'm adding two tablespoons of um, water extra to the two and a half cups of of water then I went ahead and add one teaspoon of olive oil you can use any oil of your choice so today first five shout out goes to the first person is Sami treasures TV she's a content creator here on YouTube make sure you check her channel out Janet McCormack MN Fanta Toure Gabu Piquant you guys were the first to comment on my video so here I have my liver all washed and I cut them in cube size you can cut the liver in any size that you want so in my liver I'm gonna keep it simple I am going to sprinkle some onion powder garlic powder 
and simply salt and black pepper to season my liver and then i am going to set it aside let it season a, a little while Next, I am going to blend in all my ingredients for my liver stew. So I'm going to add in a couple of cloves of garlic. Then I'm going to add in some habanero pepper. Adjust the spice to your liking. And then I'm going to cut in two medium-sized onions. depending on how much you are making so it's all up to you how much onions you want to use then i'm going to use the crushed tomato in the can if you don't have it feel free to use fresh tomato as well it's all the same so i'm going to go ahead and blend all the ingredients um, together then i'm going to add salt and black pepper in this um, mixture as well so what i'm adding there is salt and then i'm going to add some black pepper So in my hot pan, I am going to add a little bit of oil into my pan. Make sure you heat up the oil extremely hot. Okay, then I'm going to add my liver, which is all seasoned already. So I'm going to fry the liver for about five minutes. I found out that if the, the, the less you fry the liver, the less, the more it's going to be more soft and juicy. So I'm not going to fry the liver for a very long time. I'm going to just fry it for five minutes and that should be fine because I want the liver to be as soft and moist as possible because the more you fry it, the more it's going to be really fried and it's going to be hard. You would, it will be very chewy when, when, once it's done. So I am going to leave the cover on, um, uncovered. I'm not going to cover it. So when you fry it for five minutes, you're going to see what I'm saying. You see how soft and moist and juicy the liver is. No worries. It's perfectly fine like that. Because like I said, if you fry it too long, it's going to be too chewy. It's going to be too hard. So I'm going to go ahead and add my blended ingredients and fry it. Now, remember, no need for you to add water in this stew. It's a liver stew. Okay, this liver stew you can enjoy with white rice, you can enjoy with bread. All right, that's why we are making the paratha bread, which is an Indian type of bread. So I'm going to go ahead and add some salt to taste. And I'm going to throw in two um, bay leaves to, to give the liver stew a nice aroma to it. So I went ahead and cover the liver stew, keep frying it. So you want to keep frying it and frying it until all the water from the onion mixture is dry up until the sauce is dry up and when you cover it make sure you cover it halfway to prevent more um, water to go in the sauce because you want to make it as dry as possible so i showed you guys that i'm going to boil some eggs along in the side so as you can see the liver stew is well stir fried is well fried no need for you to add water keep checking on it as you can see this is how the liver turned out to be it is soft 
and juicy and moist it's not hard and chewy at all this is how you want to cook the liver don't fry it too long fry it in a hot oil to begin with for five minutes then you add your blended ingredients keep checking on it all right so our liver stew is ready now we're going to move on to the next step to make our paratha bread if you have flour at home you can make this bread anytime you want if you run out of bread you don't you can't go to the store this is the best way to go you can make this paratha bread you can eat it with eggs anything you want so i went ahead and add um four tablespoon of butter i'm gonna melt it in the microwave so this is our paratha bread mixture as you can see so our butter is melted already if you don't have butter at home you can use oil or olive oil because you're going to need it so you're going to go ahead and um rub some oil in the pan and use as much as you want how, how big you want the paratha bread to be but you don't want to make it too thick you want to make it too light in between not so thick so you pour it almost like you're making pancake you pour it in the middle and kind of spread it out a little bit so that it will be more round and flat this bread i'm telling you it is so easy to make and it is so delicious you can make it with your breakfast for you can make it with um along with eggs you can eat it with anything you want all right so as you can see i'm spreading it out like so so that it will be a little thin so you want to make sure you have your stove on on medium heat not too high patiently cook it until it the top the top part of the surface is all cooked then you flip it over so just keep watching along you see how i'm doing it exactly in the video all right this is a simple way to make some bread if you don't have no bread at home but you have flour at home and like i said no need to add all the spice that i add i just want the bread to have more flavor that's why i added garlic powder garlic salt and red pepper flakes but you can make it as plain as you want so i'm going to go ahead and flip it over like so as you can see this is how it looks like cook it on a low medium heat then i'm going to rub more butter on top okay as you can see i'm adding butter so you're going to cook it until it's all nicely brown as you're watching along the video that's how you want to um, see the paratha bread so you're gonna rub some butter cook it for a little bit then flip it over then flip it over again to your desire liking just keep watching along guys because some people are more visual than 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 explaining things you know so yeah just keep watching and see how i'm making the paratha bread like i said it's simple as simple as possible it was so delicious it went so well with the liver stew and the hard boiled eggs that i made on the side So this is the color that I'm going for. Our paratha bread is ready. So just follow the recipe and follow it step by step. You should be on your way in making your own simple paratha bread at home. It is light 
and it's so delicious guys i hope you guys will try this recipe and please if you are new and this is your first time i welcome you and don't forget to have your notification post notification bell on and if you like this video please kindly give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any question okay like this video and share it don't forget the thumbs up guys the more you like the more it's gonna help my channel out so i went ahead and complete the whole um recipe and this is how our th 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 parata bread looks like so here we go we have our liver stew all nicely dish out for you guys yes we call it saucy liver in gambia we call it saucy liver what is liver stew and then i have my hard boiled egg there on the side and my parata bread isn't that easy guys this is a easy i'm telling you this recipe you can eat it for lunch you can eat it for dinner or breakfast so if you have flour don't worry you can make bread anytime simple simple soft bread anytime no need for you to knead or knead the dough or anything like that all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video until i come your way next time i'll see you all in my next upload thanks for watching may peace be unto you all shalom